in the last modules and units, we've created our collection system network, we created the catchments, connected the catchments to the network, and we inserted a boundary condition. We entered all required data so that we can finally work on the simulation setup and start our very first simulation. Within the setup list, find the simulation specifications and open the simulation setup editor. Note that this simulation setup editor can also be found within the ribbon simulation. Click on insert to create a new simulation setup. Rename the setup to a more meaningful name. I'll call it S01 underline and set underline CS. In this way, I know that it is my first simulation run, I'm simulating in New Zealand and I'm working on my collection system. Next, we decide what we want to simulate. We tick catchments, rainfall runoff, and we select CS network. In the background, Mike Urban Plus will start with simulating the rainfall runoff. The result of the rainfall runoff simulation will be taken as input data for the simulation of the CS network. This means that the calculated runoff is the inflow to the CS network. Nevertheless, for the user it's possible to run both simulations within one setup. Let's have a look on the simulation period. Click on Boundary Info to have an overview of the applied boundary conditions. This overview is especially useful when you have various boundary conditions. Within the boundary overview, you can see the properties of the boundary conditions and you can also see the time when those boundary conditions are applied. Close the window again. Next, click on Set Max Time. Mike Urban Plus automatically adapts the simulation period. The simulation period now agrees with the boundary conditions and therefore our rainfall time series. In the tabs Catchments and HD, it is possible to change the time step. For our simulation, we don't need to change the time steps and therefore we can go to the last tab Results. In this tab, you can specify where you want the results to be saved. When you choose Save Results in Default Folder, the results will be saved in the same folder as your Mike Urban Plus project. You can now click on Run to start the simulation. Once you start the simulation, a log file will be automatically opened. If the errors are similar, you will see them within this log view. If you scroll up, you can see what the Mic 1D engine is doing in the background. My log view tells me that the simulation is done and I hope that yours has successfully been finished as well. In the next module, we will have a look on our results.